Hey guys, I am Bramer here, back with the next episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. I am the Red Prince, and I will become a god. Now, um, let's see if we... God, man, these things are such a hassle to deal with. These noxious bulbs. Does this help? Not really, huh? Run! Come on, you cowards. All right, got ourselves a pumpkin. A rusted bell? Let's do a quick save here. See what this does. Whoa. No sooner have you rung the ornate bell than the face of a lizard woman surfaces from behind a rock up on the ledge before you. Her stare is as sharp as the bolt eyeing you from atop her crossbow. Stand back, kinsman, and keep your hands off your weapons. Convince me you're no magister or draw one last deep breath. But. But it is you, isn't it? The Red Prince. My word. It is me. It is imperative that we talk, Your Majesty. I will become a god. With one graceful motion, the lizard throws down. Come, Prince. Ascend to the sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but surely you are its most honored one. Ooh. Real quick before we do that, let's just go over here. Make sure we're not missing any loots. Because we are not only on a quest to become God, but we are on a quest to get all of the loot. All right, now well, it looks like that's about it. Let us arise to ascendancy into the caves of Bahara. Come, companions, climb the vine. Be welcome to this sanctuary. Amadia's eye in the storm. The proud man has returned, but yours is the pride, is it not? All in this sanctuary rejoice to have Sir Gareth back, but yours oh, is the glory. Oh, this is where the, these are the seekers? Confirm you were the one that saved Gareth. Good. You did well. These seekers were blind without their leader, but you returned their one-eyed king. Remark that you get the impression she doesn't like Gareth very much. He is a good man. He will try to do well. But you, I think, will be the one to make the true difference. You recognize her as a dreamer. It is imperative that the two of you talk, like she said. So we must. And so we shall, my lord. Her eyes grow misty, and for a moment it looks like she's about to hug you, but thinks better of it. Oh, sweet prince, if I think of the perils you have faced, of the indignities you've had to suffer. But know that I, like you, will do all in my power to find your way home once more, unto the very throne. Lay a hand upon her shoulder and say you're touched by her loyalty. It will not go unrewarded. Thank you, your majesty. But the honor of partaking in your destiny is all the reward I desire. We both know why you've come. We both know where I must take us. The dark. The dark. The dangerous dark. Dream with me, my lord. Dream with me. You might as well. You draw her close, you coil and sleep. Her skin is warm against yours. Her breathing a sea that lures. You plunge and sink. You drown in her maelstrom eyes. She have for trading. Oh! First aid. Nice. We can get that for uh for our man. Ricochet. Sky shot. Leap into the air before shooting, gaining damage bonuses from your superior height. Skill receives high ground bonuses regardless of elevation. Dude. We are getting that. Apply haste to yourself, then teleport away from imminent danger. Well, that sounds really good, too. I'm gonna 
get that. Should we get tactical retreat? Well, let's just get these for now. Nice. Okay, back to the back to the story. Darkness. A hand pressed in yours, tugging you along. Let's follow. There are things in this unnatural darkness. They slither behind you so quickly, more quickly than you. Press on. You need to outrun them. You know you must. You move through the absolute black, whipped sore by unseen tendrils. Then, suddenly, in the distance, a streak of red, as if a gargantuan dragon opens a solitary eye. Dash for the red. You will find safety here. You run. You run with all you have. The red eye widens. A solitary sun. Run, red, run, then white. A lazy red once more. A desert camp at sunset. Amid the carpets and perfumed waters stands a lizard dreamer dressed in royal silks. Thank you, Bahara, for leading our sun through the darkness. Welcome be, Red Prince, to the haven in the horror. Whoa, what is going on? Brahmos the Wanderer. Thank her in return. You wouldn't have made it without her. Truly, is she a daughter of dreams. With a polite gesture, the dreamer bids you make yourself comfortable. Wine and delicacies await. Indeed they do. Red Prince, your majesty. I am Brahmos the Wanderer, leader of the House of Dreams and, unbeknownst to you, your greatest champion. Countless times since your birth have I, and so many dreamers with me, foiled the attempts of your enemies to assassinate your royal person. Can I trust him and believe him? Until we failed. The last demon you summoned, for power's sake and for lust's sake, she was indebted to those for who seek sake? your demise. Of this we had no knowledge. Oh, I summoned a demon out of lust? Okay. But for the might of your own magic, the House of Shadows would have finally had its way. But for your own awing strength, the day would have ended with your death instead of your downfall. Tell Brahmos you're beholden to him. You've need of a guardian angel, and then some. A role I'll continue to play until the day I die, Your Majesty. I swear it. All we know is that the House of Shadows seeks to kill you. Their motives are as obscure as their very existence. But I surmise it has something to do with another obscure existence. Hers. He looks aside, and where his eyes lead, a second figure appears. <gasps> the love of my life. It is she, the secret of your soul. The goddess knew her, and Brahmos knows her too. She who's been in your dreams since the sunburst that was your own dawn. You need to know, who is she? She is change, just as much as you are. She is the true crown, the true throne, the true empire, vast as the star's domain. What does that mean? Find me, and I will guide you to her. To Reaper's Coast I'll go, and hide in the mist beneath the hamlet of Driftwood. Come meet me, Kindler, Shaper, Father. And wake, awake. My goodness. We have walked the wastes of nightmare and survived, my prince. It is not a feat given to many. Thank her for her guidance. You'd have perished if it wasn't for her. It was my pleasure. The darkest dark is perilous. But we braved it with worthy ambition. The promise that is Brahmos. You are the dreamer's dream, Red Prince. And so is she. We must know what these visions mean. And we must make them come to pass. You could have sworn she mentioned other people. Who might they be? The guests. They call themselves Seekers. They're brave people, and friends to sorcerers. But you'll find them a battered band here today, brought low by bloody battle. Who were their assailants? Magisters, of course. Who else? Mm, the Seekers sense. came here to rescue a sorcerer from the fort. They failed. Many fell. They've heard the Shrieker's shriek. 
I thank the goddess I'm not haunted by their sound. Why did so many risk their lives for one man? They knew him to be Godwoken. They sought to kindle the divinity slumbering deep within his soul. But Alexander bears no rivals. Only the son can follow the father, or so he is convinced. For him, divinity. For the others, the dungeons. dungeons. It is truly harrowing to know this man seeks to be the Seven's chosen. Tell me more about these Seekers. Have you never heard of them? From the tales they tell of Bracchus Rex, they were living weapons, made of flesh and reared in torture. The pain they endured was so terrible, their screams turned to solid lightning. My god. Turns out the tales are true. The Magisters dug deep and returned these horrors to the surface. It's amazing you can hold your composer under such dire circumstances. To know one's fate is to be fearless. I reside in Amadia's palm. I am hers to shield or hers to crush, and in that knowledge, I am content. Thank you for your warning. I must move along. Bahara said the Shriekers were a creation of Bracchus Rex, and that the Magisters managed to unearth these horrors for their own purposes. We met Bahara, who was guarding the entrance. She told us the Seekers came to the island to rescue a sorcerer, but were instead attacked by Magisters. Quick save! I'm coming, Beryl. Oh, 1500 XP, baby. Why, you sneaks. How did you cut up your legs so badly? Samado. You're in luck, sorcerer. Gareth's back. And he's going to get us out of here. All of us. What have you to trade? Ooh, pyrokinetics. Peace of mind. Fireball. Haste, ignition, spontaneous combustion, 17 to 20 fire damage to target character. If they are affected by burning or necrofire, remove those statuses and deal additional damage for each turn of duration remaining. Supernova, explode, creating fire surfaces and dealing 40 to 45 fire damage in a large area around you. I think we are going to go for haste. Increases movement speed and gives an additional 1 AP per turn. Works for 2 turns. Hmm, maybe not haste. Not yet. But definitely fireball. Oops, add gold. My bad. All right, Fane. Uh, magical. By Lucian's love. Learn this skill. How did you cut up your legs so badly? Oh, he already knows spontaneous combustion. When did he learn that? Everyone has bless? Sweet. What did we just teach him? Fireball, where is it? I don't see it. We didn't accidentally give it to the wrong person, did I? No, it was definitely Fane. Did I buy the wrong skill? Did I accidentally buy spontaneous combustion? You're in luck, sorcerer. I might have, didn't Gareth's I? Back. And he's going to get us out of here. All of us. No, I did not. It was fireball. I'm so confused right now. Where is the skill? Ah! Oh, stop 
fidgeting when you stop jabbing me with your claws. Hmm. Me with your claws. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here, guys. Was it only a scroll? No, I definitely bought the book. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, that scared me. Woo! We're okay, guys. Alright, um... What do I dump? Bless... We don't need bless right now, really. Because we can't even use it. How do I unslot? There we go. By Lucian Fox, how did you cut up your legs so badly? Hmm. Yes, wonderful. Pain. Drop the bless down here. Bless. He's already got it down there. Okay. That is good. Good, good, good. The young woman stares at a trio of bodies, dead from their wounds, seemingly. Oh no. They're... They're dead. And, and for, for what? Pilution's locks. Stop fidgeting, lad. All right. Let's see here. Soothing cold regenerates magic armor for all allies around the caster. Restores 13 magic armor for three turns. Wow. I like that. Ice fan. Target three positions and suit an ice shard at each one. Rain. Restoration we already have. Winter blast. Deal 24 to 27 water damage and set shield box. status on characters in the area. So badly? Smoke grenade. Add gold to match. Actually, offer wares, then add gold to match. Guys, the soundtrack on this game is so amazing. Okay. Losa. You have more skills to learn. By Lucian's locks. How did you cut up your legs so badly? There we go. Soothing cold, I want over here. And then winter blast, we'll put here. Perfect. Now, child, speak to me. Great to have Gareth back. You'll see now. We'll get that ship. Okay, Han. Eleven magic armor and scoundrel. I don't need that. They no longer ha Ooh. Bleed fire? Enemies will bleed fire one head. Also creates a small fire surface beneath each target and ignites services in the area. What? Pyrokinetic and polymorph. That's a pretty sweet spell. Poisoned arrowhead, a skull amulet. 
Matisse. Bit of luck on that one. Bit of luck indeed. Gareth, you come at last. I would have word. I'd no doubt you'd find your way to us. Not after witnessing your bravery. First, show me what you have. Worm tremor, impalement, bouncing shield, and rage. I have no interest in these. I know you seek answers. I'll tell you what I can. What brought you to Fort Joy? It's not exactly a welcoming place. Voidwoken? Gareth pauses. My friend, the Voidwoken feast on us. There is no longer a divine to channel the will of the Seven. A new one must rise. Only a Godwoken, blessed with the blood of heroes, may ascend to divinity. Yes. But few are left. We knew of one, Verdas. He is why we came here. Well, you've no reason to need him no longer. For I will be the god. There were others, but they fell like crab apples from their branches. Someone else looks for Godwoken. Not to liberate them, but to kill them. Tell Gareth you've been to the Hall of Echoes. You have spoken to a god? Gareth stares intently, not so much at you as through you. Yes. I see something there, but it's not for me to say. I must get you to Malady. She will know. She was imprisoned on the Lady Vengeance, one of the few of us not left to rot on the sand and sun. All the more vital we take the ship from the Magisters. Godwoken. He calls me Godwoken now. I must... Ifan has a new quest above him. How this... How... Ask how the Seekers ended up finding shelter here. We just landed on shore. Minutes later, Dallas sailed in on the Lady Vengeance, screaming like a banshee. We had no hope. Most of us were dead in the blink of an eye. She had horrors at her side. Shriekers, they call them. They still protect the harbor, firing pure death at anything that catches their eyes. The Lady Vengeance is still anchored there, too. Lucian, save us from whatever plot Dallas is concocting on it. What happens next? Do you have a plan? Well, I had a plan. Gratiana told me of weapons that could counter these Shriekers. Purging wands that steal source from its host. I went to that armory looking for one of these wands, but Alexander's bootlickers stumbled in first. I found nothing but dust and blood. We've got to find a way to silence those Shriekers. If we do that, the Lady Vengeance is ours. Freedom is ours. Wait. I need to get- okay, so we found Bless, which is able to cure a curse. That lever was cursed. However, we can't use Bless until we get our collars off. So I think we need to get our collars off, and then we have to go to the dungeon and bless the gears to remove the curse so that we can open the gate, which will give us the weapons, which will allow us to destroy the Seekers. That's what I'm guessing is gonna happen. Offer to help him and the Seekers. This is your ticket to freedom. I can't imagine anyone more capable. Lucian truly shines his light on you. See Gratiana. She knows every songbird and blade of grass on this isle. I'd go myself, but she seems, shall we say, dissatisfied with my recent failure. The Lady Vengeance waits offshore, ready to sail for a righteous cause. Find a purging wand. Alex, we'll turn the tides, my friend. Divine... Very well. Now, Ifban, what is it? Ifan looks anxious. An unfamiliar look on the lone wolf. Stepping closer, he whispers urgently in your ear. Oh, uh, who has he seen that he knows? I... I know who's hunting Godwoken. It's the Lone Wolves. Raise an eyebrow and ask if that means he's going to kill you now. He smiles at you, but his expression is grave. We're both Godwoken. We're on the same side. Ask him about the contract. What more does he know of it? It's been making the lupine rounds for a while now. Big money for anyone who succeeds in taking out a Godwoken. And I mean big money. Tell him you have his back, if he has yours. Deal. In the meantime, let's keep a lower profile. Very well. 
Ooh, a crafting Bible. Uh, whoa, a huge crafting Bible, guys. Look at how big that book is. My god, teach me your secrets book. 500 recipes learned. Wait, what? I didn't... What? Have I learned nothing from it? What's the crafting button? G. Ooh, I think I learned some food things from it. Dinner. So many different kinds of dinner, but they must be cooked in a fire or a kitchen thing, stove. Looting all the stuff. Looting all the stuff. Get the barrels, the foxes, and maybe some foxes. Ooh, Tales of the Seven Gods. Yes, yes. Nothing. Nothing else in this tower. Alright. Back down we go. I'll take that. The young Extra. man fidgets with his armor and half sword excited me. He sees you approach. Does he sell weaponry then? Ooh, what do we have here? Polymorph skills? And scoundrel skills. And then armor. Was it you who saved Sir Gareth from the Magisters? You did what you could, yes. Seven praise you, stranger. You don't know what it was like for us here. We all thought we were going to die. Now with Sir Gareth back to lead us, and if I know him, he must have found those source weapons, we might actually have a chance at surviving this. Well, he didn't find the source weapons. But I will. Keep your wits about you, Leia. We need you. Okay. Um, equipments. No, oh, magical. We still have some skills that we can learn. Whirlwind, we need to learn this. Provoke. Enrage. Whirlwind, we definitely want to drop down here. Bless, we can't use yet, so we're going to dump that and pick up, um... Provoke. Provoke and tease them so they want to attack you. Motivated an allied character with this power of rage. Target allied character is guaranteed to land critical hits with base attacks and weapon skills, but is muted. Clears, taunted, terrified, charmed, mad, and clear-minded statuses. Only works for one turn. Guaranteed to land critical hits. We'll put that on, sure. And then Ifban has some skills. See here, conjure incarnate, farsight infusion. Let's dump this for now and pick up dimensional bolts. Oops, I'm trying to keep everything organized here so I know what's what with him. 
We really don't use elemental warhead or arrowheads with him that much. We can finally get out of here now that Gareth's returned. Okay. Gareth's back. Bless their Gareth's back. Take us home. Gareth is back. Gareth is safe. Leia has Jack crap. She throws her arms around you in a tight embrace. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. You're so good, so kind, so brave. It was my pleasure. She smiles and hugs you again. What a beautiful day. What a happy day. <laughs> my thanks, friend. I can't remember the last time I've seen her smile like that. If there's anything we can do for you, you have only to ask. Dude, I love the voice acting on this game. It's so good. Well, now that she mentions it, you are still wearing this source collar. Yes, of course, of course. She extends her arms, reaching towards you with a look of total concentration on her eyes. You feel the collar start to twist. Yes! A living, writhing thing fighting for survival. With a scream of tortured metal, the collars snap, falling broken from your necks. No more choking. No more silence. You'll never be a slave to them again. Smile and take her hand. Tell her you're so grateful to be free. We're so grateful to have Gareth back. Thanks to you, we have hope. Thanks to you, we're going home. The Divine's blessing upon you, friend. And blessings upon you, Dwarf Lady. Yes, guys, our collars are off. Our collars are off. Not enough source points. How do you know how many source points you have? Oh my god, that is, uh, yes. Broken source collars. Let's pick those up. Who knows what you can use to make with those. You'll show your I pray you see them safe. I pray this in your name. Amidst the placid little pond, the face of a goddess lies half submerged in the water. Rivulets stream from her deep set eyes like endless cascades of sunlit tears. You feel peaceful in her presence, soothed somehow by an intangible comfort. Savor the moment and take your time to look over the statue. As you gaze upon her loving face, you find yourself drawn into a trance-like state. A voice seems to reach you from within your mind and from the furthest reaches of the stars. Its whispers caress you like a breeze. Listen intently, expose yourself to this unearthly voice. The voice grows stronger, like a breeze picking up. What were whispers become words. My children, my children. Gone are my children. Dead are they in the cradle I have ruled. Commiserate with her plight. Few fates are worse than hers. A feeling of indescribable sadness assails you. It feels like your heart merges with the spirits, torn together by a coil of thorns. My child, my child, weep with me for the mother who has lost. Weep with me and bathe in the tears of Amadia. Without a word, in absolute privacy, let her know you have too much to weep about. You feel the goddess's presence surround you. Feel her nestle you tenderly, like a mother. Admit that in your darkest hour you feel you're not as infallible as you like to pretend you are. That a demon may overtake you, or that true love may never come to pass. Or, let your thoughts wander to places you have lost to the titles and power. No. It's not simply power that really troubles our hearts. The intensity of her embrace deepens. Never since the unremembered days of childhood have you been so enveloped in maternal safety. My child, my child, I love you. My own, my own, I will guard you. Wander where you will and cherish the kiss of Amadia. 
As suddenly as it came, the voice is gone and you wake from its presence as if from dream-filled slumber. The pond now shines with an inner light and standing in its waters, you feel rejuvenated, pure, as if born anew. Oh. Of magic. A blessed steam. Bless their allies with the courage to do what is right. By our Mahdiya's grace, what did you do? Let's see what she has to trade before we uh, speak with her about what we did here. Backlash, tactical retreat, haste, a lemon ring, pyrokinetic, a kiss ring for warfare, one constitution, 27 HP, alchemist breaches. Divine blessing. It's good to see gather safe and safe. And a bunch of electrical spells. Controls the forces of nature, so the wind is literally at your party's back, and aura increases the allies' movement speeds. Dazzling, bolt, blinding, radiance, teleportation, and shocking touch. Um, I don't. None of those really strike me. Say so you were just commuting with the goddess, obviously. This is a rare gift. One I've not seen before in all my years. Blessings be. I am humbled to be in your presence. Explain that you're honored to have seen the goddess's favor. Truly we are blessed to know you. If Armadia favors you, that is all I need to know. Go in peace, brother. Explain you actually wanted to talk to her about Gareth. The Seeker. I am happy to see that he survived the swamps. <coughs> But I am filled with dread at what he might do. He cannot hope to hold against the Magisters while their crucified weapons stand. And Amadia help the Seekers if they were to meet a Void Woken. Is there anything you can do to help the people here? Amadia has not gifted me the grace to heal, nor the strength to fight. There is nothing more I can do. Tell her that you're going to get out of here, and she is going to help you. Very well. If you insist, I told the Seeker that the soul-forged weapons of Bracchus Rex remain hidden in a vault, but the Magisters recovered them before he could. Gareth failed to reach the armory in time. But there is another vault hidden beyond the Magisters' guile. If you can steal away these weapons, your friends may well stand a chance. But beware. Such items are of limited power. If they cease to function, speak to me. I will be able to help. Thank her for this information and promise to investigate. Armadia's blessings on you. But pray a moment. This vault also contains relics of great power. Soul jars. If you return these to me intact, I could make an offering of them to Armadia. Her blessing could save many lives. I will keep watch for these soldiers. Armadia's blessings upon your brave so This may serve. Scraps of scale mail leggings, ragged leather gloves, old leather armor, Scale male leggings. Are those good for anyone? Requires 11 strength. Work, son. What about As you wish. old leather armor? Probably not. Yeah, there's no way that's better for anyone. The gloves, maybe? One magic, two physical? No. Absolutely not. This one might serve, but not for long. Mm -hmm. This may do some damage before it breaks forever. So is the main point of crafting so that you can sell can things for maybe. more gold, maybe? This may serve. Hmm. A grim-faced man sorts through damaged weapons. He doesn't look up, 
What do you want? Tell them I want to trade. The man grunts in assent. <laughs> that all? Necromancer skills. We don't really have a necromancer summoning. Supercharger, elemental totem. Magical pine wood bow. Tough two handed sword. Ooh, trousers of talent. 22 magic and 6 physical. Oh, wait a second. Um, I know something we can do now. We can put uh, necklaces on people. Plus one bartering. Let's put that on Ifban. And also, hold on a second here. Can put a rune on here. Plus one huntsman. Plus nine percent damage is fire, fire resistance, and critical chance. Damage is water. Damage is water. Physical damage. Maximum physical armor and max. Ooh, this one should work well for Ifban. Is that really this all one I might can? Serve, but not for long. I thought there were others I had. I guess that was the only one. So if they can have a rune in them that looks like they have a little slot or circle in the bottom left, then. Anyways, what else do we have here? Plus one constitution, air resistance, and immunity to stunned. Plus one wits, and plus ten poison resistance. Let's give that to her. Because we don't need poison resistance on Fane. Thirteen magic armor. Plus one intelligence, poison resistance, and lucky charm. Put that on us. Sort by type. This may do some damage before it breaks. Okay, so this is our last amulet. No, we have two amulets yet. I can make this work. Maybe. So 14 magic armor, or 13 magic armor with no buffs. It's obviously going to be. See, this one has a little rune on it. Maybe you have to equip it before you can um, put a rune in it. Perhaps. Want to add fire damage on Fane. Come on. Booyah. Oh, I see. It's dependent on what you put it on. So if it's on an amulet. It does critical chance. Okay. Get those weapons into shape. We'll need them. So this one is doing maximum physical this armor. This one might serve, but not for long. Okay, I understand now. I understand! I understand everything now. A corpse. A magister. Shadow essence. Should we get that back on Ifban? Bottle of beer. Let's run around, see if there's anything hidden to dig up. Doesn't look like it. Oh, 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 we got some chests over here. Or chest in a crate. 
Armor of Frost Scroll. <clears throat> the Grenadier's Journal. <clears throat> like, I don't get it. Did we literally just not learn anything from that? Normally it'll say recipes learned, I don't know. I don't see any secrets over there. Okay, is that everything in here? Did we, um no, we got to go this way yet. Let's see what's over there. And then now that we got our collars off, I think I know how we can get into that dungeon. We'll have to see if it works, but I think it will. What's over here? Strong button. Put your weapon away. A mysterious cave? Okay, before we go to that mysterious cave, I want to go to that dungeon, which I think we have a waypoint close to there. The ruined castle. Oh, and I missed some stuff here. Holy cow! 280 gold and a gold plate? Hell yeah, baby! Good thing we came back to that waypoint. Shit! Alright, let's give this a try. Not enough source points, but I think we step in this stuff, we get a source point. Yes! Out here is a damn sight better than in Fortune. If I'm not, we'll chat later. Huh, so this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to make sure. Is that as much as I can get right now on each person? Is one source point? Probably. Store up to 44 magic armor, depending on the damage that it will do. Drain 34 to 35 from a target. Sing, causing characters in target area to become mad. Maddened characters will attack those nearest them regardless of alignment. Summons your trusty soul wish wolf, which can use howl and bite on enemies. Stats of the summons will depend on the caster level and summoning ability. And then... Target a character, whenever this character ends a turn in combat, they immediately get a free turn. So it's like two turns. That's insanely powerful. Anyways, the reason we did that, let's try using Bless on him. The Magister writhes as a curse spreads through his body. Um. Maybe that didn't work on him. I feel like this has to be the answer, though. I mean, it just knowing the reputation of Brachus Rex. Yes. We should tread gingerly. All right, let's get her a source point back. I'm a genius, you guys. All right. Keep an eye out for traps. Holy XP. 
What is this contraption? Ooh, an enraged skill book. Before you stands an ancient shrine, runes carved deep into its rock. Examine the shrine. The runes are in no language you understand or recognize. The shrine seems complete. Let's have everyone examine Before it. You stands the runes are in no I want to see if anyone knows Before what it says. Stands the runes are in no Before you stands the runes are in no Damn. Okay. Before you stands a touch it. You feel the source inside you swell up, filling your chest, yearning to be free. Focus your power, calling the source to your fingertips. Your power flows from your chest <clears throat> and into your hands. Green tendrils of power slithering from your fingertips across the shrine. The shrine starts to vibrate and glow. Slabs of stone gliding across each other as it begins to open. Whoa. Corrupted Tyrant's Helm. Good find. Plus one strength, minus one leadership, grants the skill Purge. Three magic armor, 15 physical armor. Ah, it's been cursed. Been cursed. It's no big deal. Minus one leadership. Who cares? We don't even have leadership point on us, do we? I don't think we do. Oh, uh, we do actually. No big deal though. It's been cursed. And now we can give this to someone else. No, it requires eleven strength. Shoot. Character is warm. Minus 10 fire resistance plus 15 water resistance. S strange. Oh, very strange indeed. Not what I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought this was going to be the wand. So, how do we deal with these things then? Oh no! Oh, we need to get a soul point back on him real quick. I forgot about that. So let's go back in here. Wonder if that would have given us an item depending on whoever touched that chest to open it. Like if we got a plus one strength item because we touched it with a strength character. I wonder if we had touched it with someone else, if it would have given them something for their character instead. Anywho... Um... Stop it. We want to go. Let's go down to where that mysterious cave was, I think. So we go right here, there's no pathing over here. So, oh shoot man, where do we go? This map is huge. There's like a whole nother part of the fort over here. Oh, I didn't know I could make my own mar markers. Test. Look at that. That's awesome. So let's um let's teleport back down to the hideout and go down. <laughs> Modius Sanctuary. You'll show your 
And you know what, guys? We're actually going to cut this episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you hit the like button if you did and subscribe to the channel, guys. Never forget, always subscribe. All right, uh, next, uh, next episode, we're going to go down here and explore that mysterious cave. I'm looking forward to it, and I will see you guys next time. Bramer out.